what's happening guys? Welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. So, today, before we do anything, I think it's time for us to go into town and buy Arthur some beer tonic. Yes, unfortunately, such things do not work in real life for your boy. I am stuck with pubes on my very, very pale face. But, Arthur luckily lives in a world where there is such a thing as a beer tonic that actually works. So I think what we need to do is go into town and buy some beer tonic just so you guys will shut up. I have gotten so many comments saying, Beastie, go buy beer tonic so Arthur can have a long, majestic mountain man beard. Because it is a known fact that men with long beards have lived long lives and have much wisdom and experience, right? That's how that works. The longer the beard, the smarter you are. If that were true, then I think mountain people would be very intelligent, but unfortunately, they're not. Most of them are inbreds, like Murphy's, which were, they were so much fun to handle. Either way, uh, let's go into town and uh, find this beard yeah. tonic. Now, with that being said, I am gonna try and do as many side missions this episode as I can. And uh, speaking of which, there is a side mission right here. A stranger. You guys know, I love my strangers. Hello there, stranger. Are you in need of help? Everyone knows I'm a good Samaritan. Look at me. I'm wearing a hat that says I'm a forest ranger, or I guess I'm in the cavalry, I'm not sure. I look like I'm a, uh, a forest ranger. Don't forest rangers have hats like that? Oh. Sir. Yes. Some help. Yep, who's talking? Oh. Killer, not a turncoat. Your own brother? I'm a good man. What is happening? <laughs> this game brain. is just, whew, like there's a lot of stuff happening at all times. It's very alive. Howdy there, sir. Oh, you are missing your leg. Now, how did that happen? Were you I'm down there in the swamps with the alligators? Here. Yes, I can tell you're incapacitated. Allow me to help you. I am a good Samaritan. Can you help me, mister? What's the problem? The goddamn horse got spooked and run off. Are you hurt? Not too bad, at least. But he took my damn leg. Sorry. He went that way, I think. His name's Buell. Buell? Buell? Second time a prick named Buell cost me a leg. Huh? Buell was my general when I lost it. Oh, uh, okay. Anyway, if you see an angry bastard of a horse with my wooden leg, I'd be real grateful. I'll bear that in mind. Okay, well then, uh, um, that's the first time I've decided to take on a mission where I'm helping a stranger that's missing a leg because of a wild horse named Buell. Hmm. Yeah, d don't move. I'll go get your leg. I, I would love to know how you lost said leg. It was probably a cannonball. Mm-hmm. Oh, Buell, you crazy horse. Oh, there he is. Come here. Now, this is going to be interesting. How is his leg attached to the horse? I'm guessing the, uh... The saddle thing where you put your leg in there? Oh, yep, there it is. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's great. This game has thought of everything. Common lead Buell. Oh, shit. All right. Oh, damn. Buell, Buell, calm down. Calm down. There's only room in this spot for one person to be jumping, and that's me. Calm down. Calm down, Buell. You've got a man's leg in your saddle. I'm just going to calm you down, take you back over to this man and uh, hopefully get some honor for helping him out. There we go, good horse. See, I'm, I'm a natural. I'm a natural, animals love me. Humans on the other hand, not so much. All right, Buell. Man, you are a beautiful Wait. horse. Look at that, majestic. Woo, snowy white. Come on, then. Napoleon, why can't you look as beautiful as this horse, huh? You're ugly. You're like a, a, a turd brown rust color. Not very cool. If I'm going to be a Wild West outlaw, well, I mean, it's not so much wild yeah, anymore, but if I'm going to be a legendary outlaw... Can't go far with that leg in your stirrup. Stirrup. That's can't what it's called. Can't go him like that. So you better be good, you hear? Mmm, Buell. Get the he's not <laughs> Look at the leg. <laughs> That's great. No matter how big and strong you are. Mmm. If I'm going to be a legendary Wild West outlaw that's in the history books, I need to have a horse that looks majestic, almost like a ghost, a ghostly horse, a phantom, something white, something that really will like stick out in the middle of the night when they see a, a white horse just riding through the forest with 30,000 you know, police officers chasing him down after I rob a bank. Or maybe a, a ghostly black horse would work too. It has to be a solid color though, it can't be spotted. Spotted horses are not as cool. Is that true? I have no idea. I know nothing about horses. Oh, uh, Mr. Legless Man, I have your horse. 
It's a very nice horse, too. Tell me, what's a mountain man with a big beard like you and a, uh, a wooden leg doing with a horse that looks like this? I'm gonna spook you here. Come on. You're not so nasty. Hmm. I really do look like I'm a forest ranger with my hat. So tell me, you lost your leg in a war with a general leading the I way called him. Buell. And then he you're named his horse man, Buell. Mr. Mr. Arthur. You're right. He's a brute. <sighs> Hamish Sinclair. Yeah, he's a great horse, aside from when the devil got him. Hey, you wanna hand me that leg there, please? And while you're at it, give old Buell a kick for me, would you? No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> Thank you. Or <sighs> but a snake that spooked him. A snake? You're a real gentleman, you know? Sometimes, maybe. Yeah, how'd you lose a leg? Oh, in the war. Cannonball. Called it. Pretty clean, though. I don't have much pain, and I didn't get any gangrene. A young boy went into battle with me, got cut in half, so all things considered, I'm doing pretty well, I guess. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> so, uh, how is the false one? It's okay! I can still hunt, fish, enjoy the outside. I weren't sent too crazy by it. Anyway, I ain't got much to pay you with. You know... That's okay. You like fishing? You come with me someday. I know some pretty good spots. Uh, I'm a pretty poor fisherman. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm great. So between the two of us, we do okay. <laughs> My cabin is right over on the other side of O'Cray's run there. Thanks again. Yeah, you throw me again, you old dumb bastard. I'm going to put a bullet in you. What? I'll see you again. Well, now, is that a nice way to talk to your horse? Okay, we made a new friend, a fishing buddy. I'm not really too keen on the idea of fishing, if I'm being honest. It's, it's really boring. I tried fishing once, spent about three hours just sitting there with my line in the water, and then I finally caught a fish. This was when I was super young. It's about that big, and uh, I, I didn't want to cook it because I was a coward. And my dad tried to cook it. He spent like two hours trying to cook it and ended up burning the fish. <laughs> Never went fishing again. Incidentally, the grill, we brought a, a grill with us, it fell into the lake. So uh, yeah, I've never been fishing since then. And honestly, I don't think I ever will go fishing. It looks kind of boring. As everyone's yelling at me in the comments. Okay, I like to go hunting. Man hunting. Sounded, that, no, that, no, no, you get the idea. I'm a hunter of humans, as in pew pew. I'm an outlaw. <clears throat> All right, so uh, what's this? Oh, right, debt collecting. Let's not do that. Uh, I think now that we've helped a stranger and hopefully gotten a little bit of uh, good honor for that, and I really don't want to do any main missions just yet, Let's go into Saint Denis. Saint Denis, still messing the name up. And uh, let's get Arthur, uh, ooh, photo studio. Wait a minute. What, remember the misfits we ran across? Uh, like, was it last episode or a few episodes ago? They had a show happening in Saint Denis. Yeah, the show. You know what? Let's go see the show. That might be fun. And uh, while we're down here, we'll get the beard tonic and maybe, maybe get Arthur a new outfit. Yes, I think we'll do that. All right, well, on to San Denis to see a show and get some beard tonic and grow the most majestic, longest amount man beards you have ever seen. Oh, hold up. Find J. John Weathers. Who the hell is J. John Weathers? Oh, well, it looks like I'm gonna take a small break from my uh, main mission to get a beautiful beard to help this poor soul. Howdy there, J. John Weathers. What a great name. Only joking, terrible name. Having a spot of trouble, are we? J. John Weathers. They call me Snow Goose now. S Whatever they call Snow me. Goose? You borrowed money off of Leopold Strauss. Oh. The bills come due. This ain't the best time, sir. This ain't the best time for anyone. Mr. Strauss knew it was a long-term proposition. The debt is due. Okay. I got supplies. Meant to last through the winter. You Aww. can take them. Just, is there any way you can help me? I stay out here. There won't be anyone to pay you. I ain't here to help. I'm here to collect. Damn. We're all, all of us up against it. Look, there's men after me. They're killers. I ain't a deserter, just an objector. It ain't right. If there was another way than running, I need your help. Shut up. Please. I... Up here. Oh, they found him. I clear off, sir. Ah, shit. 
Well, seeing as I'm here, I'm <laughs> doing what I can for you. Aw, oh, poor Arthur. He's always getting in the shit with someone. Pop! Oh, come on. Oh. Man, this gun. I, I just, I don't know what's wrong with me, but the revolvers, I have so much trouble using. Oh! Oh, damn, what was that? Are they throwing petrol bombs? That is unfair, sir. No, I think they shot the lantern. Lantern, I can't speak. Now, see, that's what happens when you're a protester of war. Trying to go AWOL. At least I think he's going AWOL. Snow Owl, was that his name? Snow Goose. How do you get the name Snow Goose? And there goes the supplies he owed me. Fantastic. See, dumbass. Right, my darling. You can come out. That, oh, oh. That's why you don't have a lantern next to your supplies. Oh, crap. oh he's got a wife. I probably should have helped you fix the damn wagon. We could probably still save something. Really now? Look, you can take the silver locket for the debt. Oh, we get it. Oh, okay, we have a choice. Uh, we can reclaim the debt or uh, absolve. Let's do that. Oh. Now, go. Get her somewhere safe. Go on. Thank you, fella. I don't know where we can go, but I'll try. Pray for us. We're past praying for. <laughs> Words of wisdom from Arthur Morgan. Okay, I, I, ah, oh, damn it, I got, really? I just lost honor for that? Son of a bitch. I pressed the wrong button. Okay, well, at least now I've got a silver thing, right? Silver locket, I guess that's worth some money. Woo! God damn. Well, that, 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 that's quite the, the barbecue. Oh, and the wagon is actually uh, collapsing under the fire. Cool, nice little effect, I like it. This game is very detailed. I can't believe I lost honor for that. Yep, I think these guys are worth the cavalry. Well, 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 let me just go ahead and uh, pick their pockets. It's not like, you know, it's not like anyone's gonna come and pick the bodies up or anything. They're dead. They don't need the supplies. They don't need their money. I think I'll just help myself. Thank you for your contribution. It's not really a contribution when you kill someone, right? It's called being a thief. I can't believe I selected the wrong option. That's so annoying. I've been really trying to focus on having good honor so I can get a really good ending. Apparently, last time when we saw the deer walking through the town, uh, that was a good omen. Apparently that means that Arthur is going to have a good ending. Well, the game's gonna have a good ending. And if I saw a wolf, that was gonna be a bad ending. Not sure if that's true. Again, your boy's really just guessing with this whole let's play. But uh, I think I'm doing pretty good so far. Towards the beginning of the game, I was definitely a degenerate and a, uh, a very bad person, but now, you know, I'm leaning on the, the white side. See, white, that means heavenly. No? Oh, hmm. All right, well, back onto my main mission of going into town to get some beer tonic. I will be right back. What? It's amazing. Every time I turn around, there's someone in need of help. Another man with a problem that uh, revolves around his leg. Ah, you got your foot caught in the old bear trap. Common problem around these parts. I don't know if that's true or not, but I'll be glad to help you, sir. I'm bleeding out here. Yes, I can see that. Now, imagine if you were a bear. See how bad it would feel to be a bear caught in one of those? I can feel it getting looser. Oh, can you now? Hey, I got some honor. I take payment in Visa or MasterCard, please. Get some scrap or something. Oh. Now, how did you manage to get your leg caught in a bear trap? I thought I was gonna be all oh, go. <laughs> oh, I thought I was gonna be a goner. Oh, mm. you could have been. Oh, you, Is that you your bear trap? You wanted from my pack for saving me. Oh. oh. Well, what do you have in your bag? Oh. Uh, pistol cartridges. Oh, so this man is obviously a hunter, right? Well, maybe not. I don't. What else do you use uh, pistol and rifle cartridges for? Maybe he's an outlaw. You never know. Really? That's it? Ammunition? You don't have anything valuable? Have a field day over this back in town. Hmm. Well, I must say, sir, I am deeply disappointed by your uh, your supplies here. I was expecting gold or coin or or jewelry, not not some ammo. <sighs> this is why you don't help people. 
Just let him die. Let him die to the bear trap. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, we're almost there. And, uh, yeah, yeah, I got some honor for that. Again, I'm trying to be- I'm wanted dead or alive. Oh, Lord, that's not good. I'm sure if I keep following Dutch's orders by the end of this game, I will be wanted dead or alive in every part of the United States of America. And Cuba, too, for that matter. Okay, we are almost here. Uh, I'll be right back. Unless, of course, there's another person that needs my help. Because, again, I'm a good Samaritan. Actually, I have a problem. I've got, uh, 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 uh what, what was it again? Arthur's got something. Tuberculosis? Yes, I've got tuberculosis, so uh, with my limited time, I'm trying to buy my way into heaven. Thus me doing lots of good deeds. It's not gonna work, but still, you, you boys gotta try something. All right, all right, here we are, Saint Denis. Or as I like to call it, Saint Denise, because apparently I'm brain dead, but we all knew that. So I'm not exactly sure how this beard tonic works. Uh, is it complete magic and my beard will just explode into a long majestic face full of hair, or will it take time? I mean, obviously, it's going to take time, right? It'd be kind of cool, though, if I just suddenly had a huge beard Hello that went there. down to my knees. Welcome to Horner and Co. Got oh, you, you look kind of scared. Uh, tell me, sir. Corner, do you happen to have beard tonic? And the booze is up by the counter. Oh, you, you got booze. Range, just have a look through the catalog. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. All right. <gasps> cheese. Well, don't mind if I do. I'll take a wedge of cheese. Beautiful. Uh, let's see now. What else do I need here? Oh, let's buy some of this stuff. You know what? I'll take one of everything you have here, sir. Coffee. Don't mind if I do. More of a tea man myself. But, uh, you know what? Coffee will do. Actually, I hate coffee in real life. I've tried to get myself accustomed to the taste of coffee, but it's just not going to happen. People say it's an acquired taste. I don't believe it. Mm, no, there's no way. I've tried multiple times. It just, it doesn't work. Uh, premium cigarettes. What's the difference between normal cigarettes and premium cigarettes? I'm not sure. Maybe one gives you throat cancer faster. Uh, crackers, hell yeah. Delicious, dry, flavorless crackers. A staple of the man with no money. What else do we have here? Ooh, China. Yeah, I'm not in need of China. Uh, assorted biscuits, why not? Biscuits are great for regenerating my health when I have a bullet wound through my throat. That's how that works. All right, perfect. Damn, you don't say. Tell me, good sir. Oh, chocolate, candy. <gasps> oh, now tell me, uh, do you think it's worth it buying candy? I mean, it, it tastes great and it gives you that sugar rush, but on the downside, my teeth will rot out. Uh, although, oh Arthur, my. smile. You Go on, give us a <laughs> give us a big grin. I think there. his teeth are already rotted out, so that's probably not an issue. Well, stock up Let's there. browse the catalog. Get you fed. fed. Why does he say it like that? <laughs> okay, tonics. Here we go. Oh, I want that. My God, he went from bald to having a a majestic beard flowing like a Greek god. Well, I don't know if Greek Greek gods had beards, but I'm just saying. Look at that. That, that is beautiful. Hair tonic. Put simply, it is the greatest hair tonic on earth. You don't need to be bald. You don't need to be prematurely gray. My God, what's in this? Must be magic. I will buy one of those, or two, or, or three, and they're sold out. Mm. Our best-selling restorative, restorative, can't say the word, for hair. My God, okay, well then. If it can really give Arthur a beard like that, uh, maybe I'll never give him a, uh, a proper shave again. You have the most ugly looking face I have ever seen. Tell me, why don't you use this majestic beard growth tonic to get a huge beard? Why do you have the little twisty mustache? Is it something about living in the city with poor hygiene? You guys all need twisty curly mustaches? It's really odd. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, stand aside. You're about to see a man explode with facial hair. It's gonna be amazing. My beard will flow in the wind. I'm gonna be a sexy man. Mm. Is that, is that, no, no, that's not how that works at all. Having a beard doesn't automatically make you sexy. Well, maybe to some people. All right, so uh, how do I do this? How do I uh, access my inventory? This is kind of sad. I, I genuinely have no idea. Okay, here we go. Satchel. Hair tonic. Increases the rate at which hair and facial hair grows. Well, let's just go ahead and apply the, or dr drink it, okay. Um, sure. <laughs> Didn't realize you drank beard tonic. I thought you applied it on your face, but hey, whatever works. What does it taste like? Oh. Oh my, oh, I think Arthur's feeling a bit ill. 
Not grape soda? Not even close? Okay, well then. It's the price we pay to try and look sexy, am I right? No, that's not what I wanted to do. What did I... Hang on, I am so... There we go. Okay, my god. I've been playing this game forever, and I still don't know the key controls to play the game. It's sad. All right, I'll take another one of those. I don't know if uh, using multiple hair tonics will actually make a difference, but, uh, I mean, they're cheap, so why not? And I'll just chug one more. All right, people, stand back. I'm about to look like a Wookiee here in a couple of minutes. I'm going to have hair growing out of every part of my body, even in places you don't want to see, where the sun don't shine. Okay, now that I've drank three bottles of hair tonic, again, I'm... Surprise you drink the hair tonic. I think it's time to drop by the tailor and try and pick Arthur up a new suit The only thing that I'm gonna be bummed about is losing this uh, this hat. It just looks so cool I'm like a forest ranger or I guess uh, part of the cavalry the uh, the Canadian Mounties But you know what? It's fine. Arthur needs to look swagged out now that we're in San Denis and possibly dying of tuberculosis Definitely dying of tuberculosis. I need to look the part a distinguished man with a long beautiful beard no more a outlaw degenerate. I, I've been doing a lot of good deeds lately, so I don't think the whole, you know, macho bad man thing is gonna fit. And right now, this is definitely a macho bad man outfit. So uh, yeah, let's drop by the general store and get him some new threads, or rather the, the tailor, and get him some new threads. What the hell? She fell down on her own. That was not me, I promise. Howdy, sir. Oh, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. How he just picked my pocket. Hey, come here. Where do you think you're going? You think you can just pick a man's pocket? And how precisely, too. I've got like six grand on me, and he managed to pull exactly like $303 out. Come here. Don't make me take my cocaine chewing gum. I'm about to, ooh, I'm about to, there we go. Damn, that was fast, Jesus. All right, all right, damn it, you got me. 304 and 37. Okay, just a bit of cash, that's it. Pop! Try and rob me, fool? Do you see this beard? Do you see how manly I am? Di wow, as my voice cracks, that's embarrassing. Okay, I'm just gonna walk away now. Uh -uh, no one heard that voice crack, never happened. I don't know what you're talking about. I've got a big, thick beard. The fact he was able to exactly pit pocket $304.37 or whatever it was, it was is amazing. Like, how do you do that? Does Arthur just keep random amounts of cash in different pockets? It's incredible. Okay, back to what I was doing before that man tried to rob me so rudely. Imagine trying to rob a robber. You can't rob a robber. It's not how that works. Oh, no, don't tell me the tailor closed. Seriously? The tailor clo- no, oh. I'm stupid, and we all knew that. Further proving my point. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Can I bother you for a minute of your time? No, you cannot. I'm on my way to get some new threads. Nice to see you again, sir. <laughs> okay, then. You Apparently, you're deaf. Yes. That's right. Be scared. Run. Oh, that's so cool. Look at that. What is that place down there? Oh, it's the th is that the theater? Hmm. Again, I want to drop in and uh, see a show. Apparently, those misfits are in the show. That could be fun. Howdy. Yes, Mr. Twisty Mustache. I would like your finest of clothing, please. Something that says I'm distinguished and most importantly, intelligent. Mm. And that I also bathe. Can you make it happen? Outfits. Let's see now. What do we have here? The Saint Denis. That looks incredibly boring. I will not take that. No. Hmm. The Corson. What, what the, that is, no, I want to look like a distinguished man, a riverboat gambler, a business no, uh, owner, um, and none of these things do Brad that. That is a local favorite. Ooh, well, now that looks kind of cool. Let's view that. Oh, oh my, oh, I have never been disappointed more in my entire life. What is People that? People around here come in just for those. Uh, oh, do they now? $84. <laughs> it's so ridiculous looking. I mean, the top hat's kind of cool, although it really does not work with this outfit at all. No. Let's look at the rest of the outfits here. What do we have? That is sad. I look like a, a chimney sweep from back in the day. No, I, I don't want that at all. Why does that hat look so ridiculous on Arthur? <laughs> I swear, it's like half of the outfits in this game and half the hats just do not fit Arthur's face. Uh, oh, that is I so ugly. Walking into this establishment, but That's they even uglier. Better when they walk out. Mm, is that a fact? Well, it, it's kind of sad, but this is honestly the best outfit the tailor has. 
Where are the suits? I want to rob people wearing a tuxedo with white gloves, spats, and uh, like a bow tie. But I, I, I can't do that yet. Okay, well, these are just embarrassing and beneath me, so I think I'll go with the Saint Denis. Although, I hate that hat. I only stock the best in my shop. I only Buy stock me, the best in my shop. Right, sure you do, buddy. Oh, that's beautiful. Arthur, my man, you need to work on your swagger. I mean, come on, that, that is not beautiful, that is depressing. I wanted to look like a riverboat gambler, not a man that just got swindled by a tailor. All right, uh, maybe Every I can choose a different hat. You could want. All hmm. of a quality that commands respect. Whoa, all right then, damn. <laughs> that is quite the hat. It really doesn't fit Arthur's bloodshot eye complexion, so let's not do and that. Uh, let's look at all the different hats. A trilby hat. No, no, that looks like something an old man would wear. That looks like something Ar Arthur could like kind of pull off, but uh, not exactly classy. No, no top hats. That looks like a magician's hat if the magician had been washed up for 25 years. No, no, thank you. <laughs> oh my, no, <laughs> a soggy hat. I don't like it. These are all so pathetic. Oh, okay, People that that actually looks pretty good. The same, but I find that rather offensive. Oh, do you now? I'm sorry, but half of these hats just do not work. I think the best one, by far, has to be this nice brown town hat. I like that. Ooh, and we, we can go with like a sort of a cream color. Okay. I wonder if, uh, well, I, I mean, obviously you can, but I'm sure at some point we'll be able to unlock more customizable uh, clothing for Arthur, right? I well, more variation in, in his here. outfits. At least Everything I hope so. Is of exceptional quality. I feel almost human. You feel almost human. Well, I, I guess that's a big step in the right direction. Boots, what do we have here? Again, if I'm gonna go to a play or, well, I guess a theater, I need to look like I belong in a theater. Riding that boots. is a local favorite. That is a local favorite. I love this guy's commentary. As if I care about the local favorites. Why does that, why do those shoes look so long? They look excessively long. My God, Arthur, what size feet do you have? Uh, he must be like a, I don't even know what. He has the longest feet on earth. He must be like a, what do they call him again? The, you know, the, 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 the guy that lives in the woods uh, and he, he's, he looks like Chewbacca oh, sort of. My man, man my brain I just does dog, not want to work today, every Jesus. Time somebody said to me, haven't I met you somewhere else? Listen to this guy. Terrible commentary. Uh, hmm. Honestly, these all look pathetic. But you know what? I'll go with these. Preacher pride boots. I like those. They're all right. Wait, were those the ones I was looking at? Hold up. Uh, no. Uh, stand by. Apparently, I don't know how to browse through my, uh, I've, I've got these. I don't know how to browse through all the different boots available. Uh, view. Okay, all boots. If you have any oh, here we go. That was it. The wingtip. Very fancy indeed. Hmm. I think I like these. Let's go with that. All right, Arthur, my man, you are looking fancy. There we go. Again, I'm missing my hat. I really like that hat. I had a special attachment to my Canadian Mountie or uh anything you'd like to buy, please let me know. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm talking right now. I had a, a special connection with that hat. I, I look like a Canadian Mountie or uh, a forest ranger. Now I just look like a very average cowboy. You know, nothing too special. I definitely don't look like I belong on a riverboat anywhere, gambling away all my fortunes, but uh I also don't look like someone that would be sleeping in the mud with the pigs. So, I guess that's a step in the right direction. Okay, so before I go and see this show, I'm actually going to go in here to the uh the saloon, get some sleep, and then uh we'll go get our picture taken because obviously if I'm going to be in the history books, they need to see my beautiful face and soon to be massive beard. And then we'll go see the show. Oh, that's right. Your boy is here. The man of the hour, Arthur Morgan, rocking some new sexy clothing. You looking for a good time? No, I'm good. I don't need AIDS. I've already got every other disease, and I'm dying of tuberculosis. So, uh, yeah, go, go, have fun with someone else. Okay, let me sleep, and uh, we'll go do those other things. So, uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so uh, update. I went back and there wasn't actually a show happening. In fact, I cycled between the morning, the evening, and night, and there was no show. So. I'm not sure when I could see my friends, Mr. Potato Head, the weird one, the big guy, the brute, and uh, the little short vertically challenged man that has magic and his 
crazy wife or girlfriend. I'm not sure what their relationship is, but I want to see the show. Unfortunately, there's no show right now, so uh, we're going to actually help Captain Monroe here on the Wapiti uh, uh, reservation. Probably said that wrong. Wapiti. Yeah, I definitely said that wrong. I'm so sorry. I can't read. But uh, for now, we're going to go help Captain Monroe. You know, I've done some bad. Now I'm going to do some good. It's all about checks and balances. Well, uh, credits and debits, I suppose, if you're talking about money. You gotta do some bad and you gotta do some good. And then for the good you've done, you've gotta do some bad to equal that out. And if you've done too much good, you gotta do a lot of bad. But in my case, I've done a lot of bad, so I need to do a lot of good. So yeah, that's how that works, right? In my very messed up broken brain, here we are. And I must say, this is a beautiful location. Dutch is trying to find the promised land, but I mean, it's right here. The Indian Reservation. I mean, we can't just take the reservation, but I'm saying, look at this. It's gorgeous. In the mountains with the trees, snow-capped peaks, these lovely tents. Such a beautiful place. Too bad everyone's sick and dying. Howdy, Captain Monroe. You like the new outfit? I'm looking fly. Although I don't smell fly, no. I smell like a swamp, frankly. Hello. Here I am, as promised. Captain Monroe. Of course. Hey, we have sort of the same hat. Medications. It's quite a business. Yes. Thought we were through with all of this. Well, we are, mostly. Colonel Favors seems to think the natives have broken some promise they never made, and apparently he's punishing them by withholding vaccines sent down by the federal government. Really? I was supposed to oversee the administration of vaccines. Now I hear the wagon's been diverted. Why would he do such a thing? To be honest, I truly don't know. They say he didn't have a very good war, so maybe he's trying to start another one. Is that what you think? I'm trying to find out, and he knows I'm trying to find out. He'd love to provoke me almost as much as he'd love to provoke these poor bastards. Meaning? Meaning that despite the fact that I think he's a horse's ass, he knows I think that. So we're just stuck here trying to make the best of things. This is the best of things. Children. Dying of diseases? No. This is awful. Where is this wagon? Where can we find it? I can show you. It's supposed to be heading to a pediatric coming up through Valentine, but it's been diverted south instead. Come on, Captain Monroe. M Mr. Morgan, we must act with due caution. Oh, we shall. We surely shall. Now come. Mm, I just love okay. when he's commanding. He's so badass. I think I know a spot where we should be able to intercept it. Hey, Following you? You're the one with that very fancy cavalry hat. Might shoot you and take it. Only joking, but I must say, it is a very cool hat. So, this Colonel Faber, he knows you're up here helping these people? Yes, and no. He knows I'm here to produce a report on the situation. I was sent down from the north after all the news of unrest in the region. But I think my presence might be making things worse. How so? What do you mean? I worry he's taking some of these actions more to protect himself now. If he can incite more retaliation, maybe he can prove a stronger defense. Well, like destroying that shrine. Yes, and taking their horses. I mean, I don't know if he personally sanctioned any of this or not. This Probably. Is the other problem. There's a culture now in his regiment. The rot has traveled down the trunk. Okay. Well. Just show me where to find this wagon, and I'll get the medicine for you. You don't need to be involved. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. But I must ask you, please be discreet. We really cannot afford more conflict. Discreet? Hoping a meeting can be arranged between Rains Falls and Colonel Favors. I understand. So I should drop the wagon back at the reservation? Oh, no. No, no, no. You only need to commandeer the vaccine. Stealing those and an army wagon will only make matters much worse. Okay. You know, Favors has many flaws, but I don't believe he's callous. More an insecure man at the end of his career trying to cling on to something that's already gone. He fought for the Union in the war. His record was considered far from illustrious. A failed man is often the most dangerous. Yes, yes, those words ring really true. Mm, they remind me of a certain man, Dutch. Failure, big time. Or maybe he's just delusional. That is so messed up, withholding vaccines. 
I mean, I understand having a war with someone, but withholding vaccines that, oh, I'm sorry. It doesn't matter who you're fighting. I would never withhold food and vaccines from someone to try and win a battle. All right. Especially because he doesn't even have the right to have a war with him. Let's get up this way. Sure. There's a nice vantage point up at the top here. I mean, not that anyone ever deserves to have a war in the first place, but you get what I'm saying. He's doing it out of sheer spite. Man, this is such a beautiful location. I'm actually thinking of going on a road trip, driving around the USA. Uh, I'm, I might go to the Grand Canyon first. And uh, I, yes, I know, a gamer leaving his house, God forbid, but this game honestly makes me really want to be out in nature more. It's so sad that gaming okay, aspires me. Best leave the horses back a bit. You well, would think just, ah, whatever. Road from this ledge. Okay, now uh, how am I going to commandeer said wagon? W discreetly, that's not even in my vocabulary. I'm a loud man, loud and proud. I don't know about this discreet business. It'll be passing through soon. Is dynamite considered discreet? The wagon should come along this way. Okay. You're a good man, Mr. Morgan, but I fear this task to be a fool's errand. Well, firstly, I'm a long way from a good man. Secondly, fool's errands are my favorite kind of work. Fair <laughs> enough. In that case, I can see we shall be great friends. <laughs> May I ask you a question? Of course. Why don't you just tell all the folk up in Washington what kind of an idiot Colonel Favors is and save us all a lot of bother? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the government doesn't work quite like that. If you say so. There. I think that's the wagon. All right. Get yourself out of here. I just remember to keep it clean. Understand me? Don't worry. Right. I'm as clean as they come. Now, all I do is clean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Don't Sarcasm. Reservation. Try not to get yourself killed, Mr. Morgan. No, no. I, I can't promise. <laughs> okay. I don't know how the hell I'm supposed to do this, but, uh... Possibly I can jump from my horse to the back of the wagon. That would have to be it, because uh, if I'm trying to do this discreetly, I can't exactly lasso them off. Come here, you sick bastards. Withholding vaccines from people you've already stomped into the dirt? For shame. There's a special place in hell for people like you. Okay, maybe I can ride upside next to the wagon and... Nope! Don't get too close to this wagon. I'm just trying to show off my pony jumping skills. Okay, that's not what I meant to do. Mm. I think there's a prompt that shows up on the screen when you can jump from, oh that shit, oh, oh, he's got a gun. Already. Yep, okay, oh, you can't just shoot a man for doing pony jumps. I'm going to be an equestrian rider. That's what it's called, right, an equestrian, equestrian. Point is, I was trying to uh, show off my skills because at some point, I'm gonna go to the, the horse shows and jump over the, the, the wall and all that. They didn't buy it, although I thought, Really? You go from shooting a man to just casually sitting shotgun without a care in the world? You guys are sick. Okay. Come on. How do I do this? No, don't get off the horse, damn it! Well, I must say, I think I'm kind of lost. I don't know exactly what I'm supposed to do. I thought you ride upside along the, uh, the wagon and then jump. There we go. I can't get over this guy. He went from shooting to not caring. <laughs> okay, now where are the vaccines? Here we go. Medicine crate. Well, come to Papa. That's right, Napoleon. Keep up. It's a lot of medicine. And, oh. <laughs> you heard nothing. It's okay, just a man jumping off the wagon, breaking his knees. Nothing to see here. <clears throat> Yes, I know. I'm terrible at this game. Tell me something I don't already know. Okay, uh, let's ride back and deliver the vaccines. Again, that's so messed up. Withholding vaccines? This Colonel Fa uh, Favors? Is that his name? With a name like that, you would expect him to do a couple of favors for your boy. Hmm. No. But, uh, that, I'm sorry, that is just the most sickest thing to do. Withholding medication? I don't see it. I, I, I don't- I honestly don't understand how some people could be so evil and mean. Honestly, I think the best way to uh, wash out your sense of morale or your morality in, in general is to come up with some BS uh, thing to stand for. That seems to be the case. It's like, you know that right is right and wrong is wrong, but if you have something you're fighting for, some people can just sort of overrule their own morality. Like, oh, we gotta win this war, so whatever we do to win the war doesn't matter as long as we win, or our cause is more important than the innocent people we harm, if that makes any sense. 
I mean, that has to be how uh, the Nazis came to be, right? Who knows? And it, honestly, it, it, I think that we saw this in Arthur at the beginning of the game. It was almost like he was doing whatever it took to keep his gang together and healthy and safe and, and to make a score so they can go to paradise. But then over time, he's starting to get wiser. It's not always worth hurting people and uh, doing evil, terrible deeds just to get something for what you think to be your family. Or am I just making stuff up? I probably am. All right. Just a short ride left. All right, all right. I have the vaccines. Anyone? No uh, welcome home committee? No party? No giant sign that says Arthur Morgan will go to heaven? Well, this, this, this didn't really feel worth it. It's kind of a hollow victory. I'm not a selfless man. I always expect a, a uh, an award. What the hell? You guys are littering. Bean cans? Seriously? I got the medicine. Oh, wonderful. That's great news, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, well, don't worry. It, uh, it didn't go too bad. Oh, I'll have to take your word for that. We could both swing for this. <coughs> yeah, well, I think I'm a little past caring about hanging, Monroe. Maybe. I just hope Colonel Favors thinks he was robbed by bandits and not... Oh, no, I'm still a bandit. There ain't no doubt about that. <laughs> of course. Well, I better get to work. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Bandit or not, this was a good thing. Maybe it'll get us both killed, but it had to be done. I hope so. All right. I feel good about myself now. That was nice. We help people out. Uh, I mean, especially the poor Native Americans, after being beaten down into the dirt by uh, a growing culture that they were no part of at all, that we just invaded their world, you would expect that, you know, people to have some compassion and sympathy when we forced them into a small reservation. But no, Colonel Favors is like, I I'm just going to withhold medication while you die on a piece of land That's that you didn't want to be on in the first place. Ha, huh, take that. Let me find this Colonel Favors in a back alley somewhere. I'll flatten him. No, not really. Arthur's sick. It's kind of funny. You can actually tell in his face that he's really unhealthy. He's got like a pasty white face with red veins, bloodshot eyes. I wonder if that's because I'm not feeding him or if because he's actually sick from the tuberculosis. Either way, Arthur's not feeling too good. Maybe he needs a tan. We need to go back to Guarma. Or maybe that what, that's what happened. You know what? That's, that was it. Our face peeled. We peeled all the skin off her face from getting a terrible sunburn. Okay, well... After helping out Colonel Favor, Colonel Favors, Colonel Monroe, Co Colonel Monroe, Captain Monroe, what? After helping him out, the person we just helped out, I think, um, can I go into town to see a show? No, it's still not there. Interesting. Well, I guess we'll save that for next time. Uh, you know what? Let's go do one more side mission and then we'll call this episode quits for now. Uh, let's go do this one. Jeremiah. Break into Jeremiah's house and recover his possessions. Okay, let's do that. Again, I want to try and do as many side missions as possible because I don't want to end the game and then miss out on all the juicy side missions and storylines that I could have done. And I'm not, again, I'm not sure if they'll disappear if I finish the game. I would assume you could go back and do them, right? Maybe. But uh, still, I don't want to take the chance. So uh, I'll, I'll be right back. All right, here we are. Compson's house. Hmm. Kind of haunted looking. I mean, it's uh, definitely a, a huge upgrade over what Arthur has. Search the house for Compson's watch, pistol, and ledger. What happened to the barn? I think it was a moonshiner. Cooking up a new batch of that triple X moonshine. Triple X? Double X. I always... It, hold up, I'll explain. In movies, they always showed moonshine having like a, a triple X on it or a double X. But I'm pretty sure that just means pornography. I have no idea. Either way, I think uh, he was a moonshiner. By order of judge... Uh, uh. That's how I read. <laughs> Skips half the words. Judge Meredith Holden in the courts of the state of Lemoyne. We do hereby grant repossession of this property and all items here into the Bank of Roads. M. Holden, Judge Holden, Henrietta Blackley, Clerk, November 18th, 1895. That is such a small detail, but it's so significant. The fact they have a voiceover for a note on a door in a side mission. I love this game so much, man. Oh, that's incredible. All right, well, let's see if I can find a way into this very haunted, spooky house. Again, this is not much to look at, but uh, considering where Arthur lives, under a tarp next to a wagon, it's a pretty good upgrade. 
can't get in that way. Maybe. No, nope, no ladder either. Hmm. Well, I could just shoot a hole in the wall, right? Use a little bit of dynamite. It's probably not the best of ideas. How the hell am I supposed to get in here? I can't pry the door open, can I? Uh, can't go that way, can't go that way. Maybe under the house? Can you imagine? Nope, can't crawl. Hmm, through here? Oh! Watch. Pistol. Empty bottle. My man was an alcoholic, big time. Old blood eyes, Kentucky bourbon. Well then, don't mind if I have a little bourbon? Oh, it's empty. Well, that's unfortunate. Search cabinet. Now see, why am I doing this? I'll tell you why, because I'm a good guy. I get nothing out of this, except a can of baked beans. Although, baked beans are pretty good. Uh, oh, that's a, that's a knife. Very nice. Not as nice as my knife. Uh, what am I talking about? Examine child's drawing. Well, now, what is this? Thanks indeed for your talk to our Sunday school class. <laughs> Thought you might like this drawing young Josh did of you. He wants to grow up to be just like you. Sam. That, that voice actor is very familiar. I, I know I've heard that voice somewhere. Thanks indeed for your talk to our Sunday school class. Thought you, oh, uh, he just read that. Okay, well then. I gotta be honest with you, that is a terrible drawing. You will never make it as an artist. Do something else, like become a robber or a thief. Or do the same thing, as I just said, but only do it legally. Be a lawyer. Great way of being a robber and a thief without getting caught. Actually, you can do it free of charge, under the law. Lawyers are scammers. Uh, April 2nd, 1870. Dear Mr. Thompson, I'm afraid there's no more work for you down here at the plantation. I'm grateful for the help you've given us and the help your pappy and your pappy's pappy gave us before you. These are trying times for all of us. You are in our thoughts and prayers. Yours truly, Colonel J. Nixon, the Ascension Plantation. The Ascension Plantation. All right then. Hmm. All types of little juicy pieces of information around here. Antique pocket watch. Huh. That's the old watch. Now the ledger and the pistol. Doesn't really look like it's worth much. But, uh, I'll do it just because I'm a nice guy. Nothing in there. Oh, what is that? A pack of cigarettes? Well, unfortunately, I went to the, uh, the, the general store and actually purchased cigarettes, okay. so that was a waste of time. What is all this old crap? Hmm. I'm not sure. It's kind of interesting they decided to, uh, board the house up but not take the stuff inside. Speaking of lawyers, I actually saw an amazing documentary Dear on a patent law scam. There ain't nothing here any value. I wouldn't give you a nickel for it. Come by for a sup of whiskey anytime. Bill. Yes. I was sorry to hear of Betsy's passing. Things is easier up there for sure. I wish I had that voice. That 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 is a really cool voice. It's the type of voice you can say pretty much anything and people will think that you know what you're talking about. It's the voice of wisdom. Sort of, right? Sounds like the type of voice a, a very wise elderly man would have that has, of course, a very big white beard. No, not Santa Claus, but uh, still, I would trust a guy that gave me some type of life advice that had a voice like that, right? Wouldn't you? Uh. Okay, search. What else am I trying to find? Oh, a ledger, that's right. Ledger. Now, if you were a ledger, where would you be hiding? Probably in a desk, right? Ooh, a letter. Pa, God damn it. Told you to stay away from the boy. He don't want this. Heck, none of us want nothing to do with you. What? France. Okay. It's not very nice. Now, who the hell leaves all their personal letters just lying around like that? <laughs> I would understand if they were all neatly stacked in a desk, but just one letter there, one letter there, one letter there. This person was very messy. Okay, we have a picture on the mantle. Uh, trap door, huh? Oh! I think this place has a couple secrets. What are you oh! doing here? We found this place first. Yeah. Easy. I'm 
Just looking around for some things. Hmm. That old revolver yours? <laughs> Finders keepers. Ah, oh, son of a bitch! He was gonna try and shoot me! Oh, God damn it! Damn it. Come on! Oh, now man. you're Where dead! You now Come you're on. dead! A knife? It's Seriously? Out. And Arthur's actually going to. Okay, well then! I was going to say he's actually going to humor the man with a one on one knife fight, but you know what? That. That was that wasn't even a knife fight. That was completely unfair. Oh! Alright. You see this blood? You see this blood on this knife? Do you honestly think that you're going to survive? Fools! <laughs> His pistol didn't even work. <laughs> okay, well, these guys weren't too bright. Now I wonder what's in that trap door. Hmm. What type of people just randomly walk into an abandoned house, grab a uh a pistol and then try and shoot the first person they find. Not very nice, stranger. My god, he was terrible at hand-to-hand -hand combat. I stuck him so fast, he didn't even see it coming. Except for the fact he did, he just had very slow reaction time. Dear Another Mr. letter. Thompson, after numerous complaints from customers and fellow employees alike, we must terminate your employment. There's just no place for a man like you at the Central Union Railroad Company. Hmm. Well then. Okay. Now how the hell do I open up this trap door? Or can I even open it? I'm not sure. Where's that pistol at? <laughs> wow. You're a very slippery dead body. You move with almost zero friction. Okay, let's take this. I guess he must be sentimental because that is a terrible, terrible gun. Uh, yeah, let's get a nice close-up look at that very ugly, rusted-out pistol. Oh, that'll be the pistol. Uh, just the ledger now. Right, hmm. There, there better be a way to get down into that, uh, that secret room, or I'm gonna be upset. Is that a medal? What the hell? My man was a war veteran. Secret trap door handle anywhere? No? Hmm. You know, Arthur, this is a big day for you. I think you've done more reading in the last five minutes than you've probably done in your entire life. Those were a lot of letters to read. Or are they magical letters that just automatically uh, kind of give you, you know, dialogue? Speaking letters of sorts. What? I don't know. Hold up. I'm going to try and find this trap door and or the ledger. So, one second. Okay. I, uh, I'm actually an idiot. I thought there was a secret lever to open the door, but uh, no, it's actually just right here. I just need to bend down and pick up the door. It's that easy. <laughs> oh boy, I am really stupid. Okay. It's not really a secret underground passage like I was hoping, but uh, I mean, still, there might be some juicy secrets down here. Mm, oh, oh, well now this looks kind of spooky. Uh, can my lantern actually emit some light, please? How do I like this thing? Seriously? That's it? That is pathetic. A candle would have more light. It's fine. Ooh, a diary. Hmm. Man, my, oh my goodness, look at my fingernails. They are on point. Now, how in the hell did you get a pedicure all the way out here? Or a manicure, whatever it is. Uh, let's open this. Well, Reading someone that. else's diary. I was somewhere near Rhodes when they caught me. Till the day I die, I ain't gonna forget the sound of that dog barking in my heels. <laughs> but I don't suppose that day gonna be far off yet. It was 50 lashings yesterday and 50 more to come. I don't think I can take any more. Man said he was doing his job. Funny kind of employment if you ask me, but I suppose you ain't. Lights fading, so that's it for now. I do hope I live to see the end of this war and justice win out. Ugh. June 64. Hmm. That's interesting. People used to keep diaries. I kind of wonder what the idea of a diary even was. I mean, most people did not have, you know, extraordinary lives. They were rather quite boring. But I suppose some people had uh, lives that were interesting enough to uh, merit being at least put down on paper, right? Uh, okay. Well, that was not the ledger. Ooh, what the hell is this? Is that a whip? That is the whip. That's what he was talking about. The 50 lashings. Oh, can you imagine getting whipped with that thing? Good lord. That would hurt. 
No, no, not the diary, damn it. Uh, let's see now. I kind of feel bad reading another person's diary. Well, there wasn't anything spicy in it, so it was kind of boring, honestly. Uh, let's open this up. This your ledger? A list of slaves? Uh, what? Rewards. January 15th, Betsy, $17. January 18th, Louise, $12. May 18th, Wilfred, $18. May 24th, Minnie and Child, $20. Child, $20. That is messed up. That is big time messed up. All right, well, it would seem as though our friend uh, was somehow, oh, of course, if he worked for a plantation, obviously he was a slaver of sorts. Wow, you're sentimental about a ledger where they offered rewards for runaway slaves. Oh, you are going to get a boot right up your mouth. Mm -mm -mm. And, uh, oh, I, I guarantee that's what the whip was for too. Unless I'm missing something. Maybe this guy wasn't actually, you know, involved in the plantation where, uh, you know, they had slaves. Who knows? I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. Hopefully he doesn't get too teary-eyed. Oh, I remember the days when I worked on a plantation as a slaver, whipping people. Oh, is that so? Pop! I'll kill him with his own pistol. You guys were just dumb. I hate to say it. Although I really can't be talking any type of shit because I, uh, I couldn't find a way to open up the door when the handle was right there on the door. <laughs> uh. Okay, uh, let's ride back to, uh, Thompson. Again, that's a weird name. And give him his sentimental items. Yeah. Hopefully he doesn't, you know, shed too many tears of fond memories of being a terrible degenerate. Howdy, howdy! Got about us. Just when they needed us, they threw us away like, like shit on their boots. And I said you had a cool voice. I take it all back. You sound like a dirty hippie. Look at you, you alcoholic. It's all going to... Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> you sh show some respect. Or what? I was respected once. I had a profession. You asked me to get you something. There's no bringing back what I want. I want my job, my pride, the respect accorded to a gentleman. What about this old crap? Huh? My things. Don't you understand? Those bastards have changed everything. I was a good worker. I took pride in my work. They, they, they took it away. Pissed on my legacy. Oh man, some jobs ain't for saving. And some legacies? Oh, they oh are. my horse was in the way! What are you doing? That's, that's my history! Oh, you want your gun? Oh, I was about. Come on now, Arthur, shoot him! Damn you! <laughs> Damn you! Oh, poor little fellow. I still exist. No, you don't. <laughs> You died a long time ago. <laughs> you pathetic swine. <laughs> uh, and I was bragging on this guy. I was literally giving him all the reputation in the world for having an amazing voice. And all along, he was a dirty, degenerate slave owner. Or I guess he worked on a plantation. You pathetic, pathetic human. That's right. That's why you're bald. That's why you live in a tent, rolling in your own horse's feces, and you have nothing. Because you're pathetic. Yeah, you died a long time ago. At least his soul died a long time ago. Okay, well then. I guess I did some good. Enjoy the memories as they burn away in that campfire of yours, you filthy swine. Okay, well then. Uh, Arthur obviously hates slavery. That's a good thing. See, Arthur's got a nice soul. S somewhere. What? Did what? This animal just died out of nowhere for no reason. What happened to you? Okay, it fell dead and rotted instantly. See? You're such a bad reputation with your amazing voice, it's unfair, I wish I had that voice, that you kill the deer and now it's rotting. Cause you rot. Oh, good lord, you stink. All right, well, you know what? I think for now I'm gonna end it there. Uh, we did quite a number of side missions, and again, I'm gonna try and really focus on the side missions for the rest of the game, not leave them behind, and uh, yeah, for now I'm gonna leave it off there. If you guys enjoyed this episode, smash the like button, leave a comment down below, tell me I'm terrible at gaming, because quite obviously I am, and until next time, peace out.